What's up guys, it's Rare Rat Productions, and today I'm going to be doing a Mystery Tackle Box Elite Unboxing. I get this every month, and personally I like getting it just because of the new companies I can find out, and new lures. Um, it's a good way to kind of find new baits. It's good for people who are just starting fishing, or people who have been fishing a while like myself. So, yeah, it's definitely uh, something you guys should check out. I really enjoy getting it every month, and it's definitely a highlight of my month. But if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And also, 12.4% of you guys were not subscribed on the last Mystery Tackle Box unboxing. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys would subscribe. We're on the way to 1K by the end of the year. And yeah, hopefully we can get it by the end of the year. I have a pretty good feeling that we can. So it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure you smash that like button. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. I'll also have the Mystery Tackle Box linked down below so you can get your own. And I'm also looking into a new light for my camera. So my light is not working currently. So I'm going to probably get one of those ring lights. And I'll probably go from there. Um, I've officially decided on it. So by the next Mystery Tackle Box, the lighting should be better. So anyways, guys, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna open this up and we're gonna see what exactly we got inside. And I'll just grab the first thing that I see and hopefully we'll get some pretty cool stuff. I've never really been disappointed. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna grab is these, they're Hyperlastics and they're Patrick Seal creations. Uh, they're called a worm spin. Um, I've been seeing a lot of these recently. Um, they're pretty cool. I personally haven't tried it out yet, but it's seven and a quarter inches and it shows how to rig it and everything on the back there. But it has these little chartreuse little spinners on it and it also comes with a hook and the worms are pretty good. This would be good for dark or stained water. This would be perfect, especially if you're trying to target some largemouth bass. This would be probably a good lure to use. Um, personally, I haven't tried those like I said. But I honestly was thinking about trying it in the near future. A lot of people are doing it with like Ned rigs. Um, this is actually the first time I've seen it done with like a Texas rig. So it might have to be something I look into. And it comes with a 5 aught hook on it. Hook looks pretty sharp and the plastic looks pretty durable. So can't wait to try it out. And then the next thing I got is a Guggen Squad Junior Contender. And this lure is in the bluegill color. And it is a slow sink. It's four and a half inches long. And it's two thirds of an ounce. And I've heard some things about this uh, particular swim bay. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about it, to be honest with you. But I'll definitely give it a shot. Uh, I'll never knock something until I at least try it. But if you guys have had any luck on these, let me know down below. But yeah, that looks like it's a pretty good little lure. Um, the tail looks pretty nice. And the hooks look pretty sharp, so. Yeah, definitely gonna try it out whenever I get a chance because I have a rod that can throw this. Then we got a Major Craft Zoner Hunter series. Uh, it looks like it dives three and a half to six and a half feet. It's two and a quarter inches long and it weighs seven sixteenths of an ounce. It is in the red craw color. Um, the hooks look pretty good on it. I like the paint job a lot too. And that bill looks like it's pretty good quality also. So, I've actually never heard of this company, I don't think. I might have, but it's definitely been a while. So, I definitely think that this could definitely catch some fish. This would be perfect in the spring or with stained water. This would be a good lure to use. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of luck on rake crankbaits, specifically like square bills, especially during the spring. So, this is definitely going to be in my arsenal for like... February, March-ish, I feel like this would probably do pretty good, especially whenever they're not up too, too shallow just yet, and they're still kind of deep. I feel like this is going to be killer to imitate some crawfish. And then we got this pretty cool little spy bait here. Uh, it's made by Jinko Fishing, and I'm probably going to butcher this. Shinobi Shad is the name of it. Um, I think that, no, that's not the color. I think the color is Grimace, I think. I'm not really too sure, but that looks pretty cool. I've actually heard this company before. 
I've actually never thrown a spy bait. Um, it's been on my list for something I want to learn. I'm just not really too, too sure about it. So definitely kind of want to try it out, but I like the paint job on it. It will definitely stand out and kind of stain water, especially with that chartreuse belly. And personally, I have really good luck on lures about this color, so I definitely think it'll work. It looks like the hooks are pretty sharp. Looks like the paint job's pretty nice. It looks like it's made out of some pretty good materials. Um, it's definitely a lot smaller of a profile than I thought it would be. Um, I've never seen one this small. Yeah, I've never seen one this size, so maybe this will do better. Maybe this will be pretty good for smallmouth. Like I said, I don't really know. I haven't really thrown any spy baits, so we'll have to see how it goes. And then we've got 10,000 fish Sakoshi bugs. I love these on my tightrope. They are honestly some of the best trailers for those uh, finesse jigs that I use. This is in the blue crawl color, and personally, I really love these. You can even put these on a Ned rig. If you wanted to, it would do pretty well there. I personally haven't tried it, but I'm sure it would work very well. Uh, Christian actually throws these on Ned Rigs quite a bit, or at least he used to. Um, yeah, it's definitely a nice little thing to get. I'm a pretty big fan of these, like I said, and they make really good trailers for some finesse jigs, that's for sure. Especially for smallies, this is a killer lure. Then we got the Excite Baits. And I'm not sure what color this is. Uh, it doesn't say. It's a creature style bait. Um, it looks pretty nice. It's like a June bug color with some blue flakes or green flakes. I'm not really too sure. I think it's green flakes actually now that I'm looking at it. Um, it looks like it would do pretty good. I like how translucent it is. Um, it would do probably pretty good in stained or clear water. Especially with how clear the lure is. I feel like this would do really well. Uh, I've had really good luck on colors similar to this, so I'll definitely give this a shot. And it also says it's a high floater, so I assume that this floats in the water. I'll have to go look into it after this video, but I definitely feel like this is going to be a really good lure to use. And especially whenever you put it on like a Texas rig, or you can put it on a Carolina rig, and this would probably shine. And then we got a Callan Swim Stalker jig, and it is a quarter of an ounce. It looks like it's a bluegill color, but that is a really nice lure. I definitely think this would do pretty good. It says the recommended trailer is the Uncle Josh Pork Frogs. I've never heard of that one before, but I have heard of this company. They make pretty good quality products, so I definitely feel like this is going to do pretty good. Um, that color is really good, especially whenever they're feeding up on bluegill. This would be a good imitator to throw. Then we got this sticker, and it says Worms at Work. I actually kind of like this sticker. It's pretty unique. Really haven't seen too much like that. Um, I really love getting the stickers out of the box. I put it on my tackle box. So that's definitely going to get added to the collection. I think this is probably one of my favorite stickers that I've got from them. And then it says Where to Fish the Hyperelastic Worm Spin. It kind of shows you. Um, I'll just show you guys that in case if you want to pause it so you can read that. But basically it says matted grassy covers, grass lines and weed lines, rip wraps, tree stumps around and under docks, under bridges, and down trees and some birch timber. And then uh, it basically kind of gives a summary of it and like how to rig it. It says weedless on a swim bait hook, straight on a jig head, on a Carolina rig, Texas rig, drop shot, spinner harness, or Nico rig as a trailer on a traditional or bladed jig. So... I like getting this too because it kind of tells me some of these lures and like where you should fish them at. Especially like something like this which I'm not really too sure on. But yeah that's a pretty good little lure honestly. I can't wait to try it out. And then we got the dibble. And the dibble is basically some fishing tips and tricks that you can uh, use. It's pretty good to read through honestly. It's good for experienced anglers and people who have just started bass fishing. Um, some things in it is like a history of MTB, um, talks about how they started and everything. Biospawn gets an origin story, how to fish spy baits, I'll probably have to read up on that honestly. Panfish in the heat, how to clean bait casters, uh, it has an Ask Carl section, how to catch walleye in the heat, I'm getting salty with poppers. 
Uh, the five trout flies you should carry at all times. Catch and release photos. Biospawn, creating genetically engineered baits. Um, and then it has a Carl's Corner on the back and has a little matching section that you can do. So it's definitely pretty interesting to read through. It's some pretty useful information that relates to fishing or uh, fishing in general, like fly fishing. They were talking about flies in there. So it's definitely something to read through whenever you get your box. But now I'm going to see how much everything was worth in my box. And I'm going to tell you at the end if I think it was worth it or not. So let's get into it, guys. All right. So the first one is the Guggen Squad Junior Contender at $19.99. And that's the swim bait here. And personally, like I said earlier, I've heard some things about this. I'm not really too sure how I feel about it, but I will give it a shot because I will try anything once. And I'm actually pretty curious on how the action is in the water. So it'll definitely be something I'm going to look into and I can't wait to actually give it a shot. And then we got the Major Crafts Zoner Hunter for $9.99. And I really love this paint job on this. This is going to be a killer in the spring, especially early spring. This is going to be good to imitate Molten Craws. So I can't wait to actually give this a shot and see how it does. And especially since it can dive a little bit deeper. Whenever the bass are a little bit more deeper, this is going to shine. So I can't wait to actually give this a shot and actually try it out. And then we got the Hyper Elastics Worm Spin for $9. And honestly, I can't wait to try these out. I almost bought some of those whenever I was at the beach. Those little spinners. I'm not really too sure on exactly what you call them. I guess tail spins. Not really 100%. If you guys know, let me know down below because it's kind of new to me. But yeah, I thought about trying it out. I thought about using it for like a TRD or pretty much any Cinco style bait. I feel like this would do pretty good. So yeah, definitely might try that out and see how this does. I'm actually pretty curious. Then we got the Jinko Fishing Shinobi Shad for $8.99. And honestly, I can't wait to try out this spy bait. I've been wanting to try out a spy bait for a while. Um, I'm not even really sure exactly how you fish it. I mean, I kind of know, but I don't know exactly like where you should fish it, you know, like what conditions. So I'll give it a shot. I'll try this out. It looks like it's a pretty good quality lure. I love the paint job on it. And I also think the hooks are pretty sharp and I feel like it can definitely catch some big bass and it has that smaller profile where I can use it for smallmouth too and still catch a decent amount of them and not like kind of weed them out per se. So I'm definitely going to try this out and I feel like it's going to be good. If you guys have any experience with lures like this, let me know down below and let me know where it works best for you guys because I'm actually kind of curious. So yeah, let me know down below. And then we got the Excite Baits Hogalicious for $5.49. So I guess that's what it's called. Um, they don't put that on the pack and that's why I read all this at the end. But these are going to do good, especially in like muddy water conditions. You can use them in clear water too because of how uh, translucent they are. I feel like it would do pretty good. You can definitely trigger some strikes with this. Personally, if I was to fish this, I'd fish it on a Texas rig or a Carolina rig. Both would be pretty good and I feel like you can definitely get some pretty nice bass on these. And then we got the 10,000 fish Sakoshi bug for $5.29. And like I said earlier, this is a really good trailer for the tightrope jigs. Um, I, that's probably the only thing I really use these for. I mean, you can put them on a Ned rig, but personally, I love using these as trailer and they are proven to catch some pretty nice smallmouth. So it's definitely a, something that you should check out if you haven't yet and you fish a lot of tight ropes. Try putting one of these on as a trailer and I promise that you will love it. And honestly, I can't wait to actually put these on my tight ropes that I have in my box. So I'm pretty excited to use these. And then we got the Callan Swim Talker for $4.99. And this is going to do good, especially whenever the bass are feeding up on bluegill. This is going to shine. It looks like it has a pretty good wee guard on it. It looks like it's pretty sturdy. It looks like the hook's pretty sharp. And it looks like the skirt's pretty well made too. So I definitely can't wait to actually give this a shot. I'll probably have this on whenever you're fishing it through grass. Or if you're just trying to cover water, this would be a really good lure to throw. Personally, I think this box was definitely worth it this month. Um, I got some new companies that I've never heard of. And, and like I said in the beginning of the video, that's why I love getting these mystery tackle boxes. You get to find new companies and new lures. I wouldn't have found those tail spins or um, technically the worm spins is what these are called. But 
these in particular i've been eyeballing this for a while also make sure you smash that subscribe button down below we're so close to hitting 1k by the end of the year i feel like we can do it so if you've been watching my videos for a while now and you haven't subscribed what are you doing you made it this far you might as well so also follow me on instagram i'll have it linked down below along with the link where you can pick up your own mystery tackle box and i'll see you guys next time see you